I've had a number of people ask me about ballasting Woodland Scenics track bed. This video is how I do it. It's not necessarily the right way to do it. There are plenty of other videos out there that talk about other ways to do it. And I think Woodland Scenics even has a video out about how to do it. But this is my version. Sometimes you get it like this. And a package of strips. What I'm using, four parts fine gray, four parts light, and one part of this kind of reddish looking stuff. The glue in my pot with the brush is one half glue one half water and some alcohol. Sometimes I use soap. And I put it on very carefully right along the edge. Try not to get any on the sleepers. Once I have that on there, then I put full strength glue into it which sort of dissolves next comes the ballast itself when I get it all mixed up it comes out looking I don't know where the best place to look at that like this this is just another container of something else that I got out of the kitchen. I put and mix it in a big batch like this. Quarlin's pretty big and I've used a lot of ballast. I use the fine ballast. I think that's really meant for eight or engage trains. But I use it on my layout because it's easier to work and it seems to me as though it looks more realistic. So then, we just put on some ballast. Make sure it's covered. I'll go ahead and do the other side here. Then one of the things I like to use is a foam brush. Seems to be just the right size. Fit between the rails. Then the most important thing when you're putting additional glue on it, and I don't wet it first, I like to go right along the sleepers. If you get it into the, if you put this, oh this is a different mixture too, this is a one-third glue with a couple drops of soap, a little alcohol, and the rest water. I put it on with an eyedropper and I go right along the rails because if you put it directly on the ballast, it, it deforms the ballast. sort of rolls the ballast over and then it doesn't look good. So I try to keep it right along the outside. And this will soak down quite deeply, turning the whole thing into one solid mass when it's done, when it sets up, which in my climate takes about a day. doesn't take very long. It's very dry here. I try not to get it on the rails because then you have to clean it off. You saw me doing this in a previous video but I I set it into fast motion so it was hard to see. There we go. 
It's all ballasted. I see a couple of grains of ballast sticking on the sleepers on the outside. I probably got a little glue on there. I'll do this other over here on the other side real quick. And that's it. Bye from Farland.